Josef Ashbacher, thank you for being on uh, Euronews. You are the director of the ESA Earth Observation Program and Sentinel Satellite uh, Network is key to study the state of the planet. Would you remind the goal of this uh, mission? Uh, the goal of the mission is uh, to monitor the state of planet Earth and Sentinel-2 in particular uh, observes the Earth's surface. Uh, the Earth's surface, mostly the land surface, but also coastal areas to really get a good picture of our planet every five days with two satellites in orbit. Every spot on Earth will be covered in nice resolution by satellites once every five days. What exactly will provide this kind of data? Uh, this kind of data is provided to everyone for free. Uh, we, uh, you can access this data on a website and everyone can download any image of the Earth from any place. And this is really a new feature which we have installed in the Copernicus program to really ensure that investments made in space by European taxpayers can be used by every European, but also people outside Europe. And this, I think, is uh, the biggest uh, measure of success, that these people can really retrieve this data at any place, at any time. And why Sentinel-2B, as well as the other observation satellites, are so important to observe our planet? They are so important because we still do not understand well what happens to our planet. Our planet is very complex. The atmosphere interacts with the oceans, interacts with the land, and the whole Earth system, as we call it, is a very complicated system that scientists still do not fully understand. So we need accurate measurements from satellites, but also other means, in order to really understand well what happens, not only for climate. Atmospheric pollution is one of the major key issues nowadays. How this kind of study can help to better influence the action of the governments around the world? One example, uh, deforestation, of course, uh, uh, causes uh, that we do not have enough uh, forests uh, which are converting pollution into oxygen. And therefore, we need to understand extremely well what happens on ground in also to also see uh, how the atmospheric chemistry will be influenced. Josep Aschbacher, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.